For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's as always got some plays for you today out of a new playbook. That's right. I told you guys uh, recently in a video that I was going to be moving on from the Niners and doing some stuff out of basically a playbook of you guys is choosing. And you guys voted the most for the Raiders. So I did the Raiders offensive ebook. I'll have a link in the description below for that. But this is going to be the first of probably like two weeks of schemes where I'm going to focus on just the best stuff out of the Raiders. So without a doubt, this is one of the best offensive playbooks in the game. I'm not surprised that it won when I, you know, I put up a vote in my community section i'm not surprised that it won at all uh, i still personally love my niners playbook but i'm using the raiders right now just to flush it out completely and it's definitely one of the better uh, offenses in the game so i can't recommend it enough uh links in the description below for all that i got a full breakdown on my patreon full breakdown on my uh join now community tab all that stuff also the ebook all that stuff below the offense itself is the tight way off out of the single back and it has a lot of really good uh, running and passing plays, but I'm going to focus on two pass plays in particular. My personal favorite two, uh, it'll be the PA post dig, which I'll go ahead and I'll add these into my audibles here. The PA post dig is going to be probably number one, and number two is going to be the, where is it at here? The, uh, the PA pump go. I should be able to home run just about every single defense in the game with just these two plays. Other than that, if I had to continue, I'd probably have the drive flood in there, which is a really good man being play. And I would have the halfback zone weak, which is a very good run play. Now, the PA post dig is a very good play against pretty much any zone coverage. We're going to start off uh, and match it. Uh, against a cover two like we typically do and then we're going to work our way back so we'll start off with the tampa two so this play here i mean this this route the b route there's only two routes on this play the b route is going to be the route that pretty much beats every single defense so all i'm going to do is motion this guy across and put the x route here on a street that's all i really have to do uh, i can you know the, the y route there he's on a check and release but i can put him on a flat i can do a number of things and this is pretty much going to be a gigantic play once this guy breaks outside now, that wasn't a very good throw i probably should have a catch and run touchdown there i'll have even better results if i move the ball over which some of these plays you're going to have to run it from the hash mark to have success so we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, this is a very easy concept. I like that you're motioning this guy over to a bunch too. I mean, this is a very simple bunch concept, but you can have a lot of success with this. So let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, get a little bit of a better pass lead. And you're going to see how we have a very explosive play. Although, I mean, I probably could have a one play touchdown if I did a little bit of a better job catching and running, but I'm not going to continue. So let's go and let's move on to the next defense. The next defense, and you probably see this the most offense, is a cover three match. So let's go and let's pick that. So this cover three play is not like a lot of other cover three plays where you got to run it from a hash mark. You can run this from anywhere. Anywhere. All we're going to do to make this play work is put the X route in drag and put the A route in a streak. And the cover three uh, one play touchdown is going to beat to the B route. It's a very simple setup. Um, you're basically just waiting for this guy to cross. And then once he gets through this area here, you can see we're going by like five to ten yards where the cornerback or the safety aren't even close. And it's such a, a lengthy developing play that the user's typically not going to follow back. The, the user's not going to follow all the way back, um, you know, to this point. Unless they're using the safety. That'd probably be the only thing. Uh, but you can see, the second he gets inside that free safety, this is rare because most cover three plays, these cornerbacks really follow back deeper. Even the routes that aren't in their area, they're usually a little bit more perceptive. But you can see I'm already loading up. The second he gets inside that safety, I just bullet and pass it away from the, the free safety or the, the middle high safety. It's very easy one play touchdown like i said you can see if we go all the way back here the separation is ridiculous there's the, you're not going to see that much separation in a cover through one play touchdown it's almost 20 yards we're going to do that again you do have a check and release in the y route which you know that'll have some success if you don't have the one play touchdown that is a good check down so don't forget about that so if you're on current gen or old gen, I'm not really sure what it's called, anything other than next gen, I find for these plays to work, you typically have to roll in the direction of the throw, and I typically like to do that anyway. So I'm going to slide my protection to the left, and I'm going to block my running back because that play action is not really helping me out. And like I said, I typically find it's best. It really holds the cornerback down even more. And then you can see, once again, we're just getting ridiculous one play touchdowns over the top. So that's cover two zone, cover three zone. How about cover four zone? This one's probably going to be the best against that. So we'll pick the PA post it one more time. On the defensive side, I'm not sure where they have a cover four. It's probably going to have one here. So we'll go cover four, drop, contain. So it's going to be the exact same setup with the exception of the A route. 
Um, I really feel like that A-Rail is such a stupid blocking animation. I'm just going to put him on a drag because ultimately that's something that um, it just doesn't help at all. He just like runs into the quarterback. You can also slant the X-Route. That'll have success, but you got to motion out this B-Route. And then once this B-Route gets inside of that safety, once again, you can see that he's getting very gone. Now that, for whatever reason, I didn't catch the ball. I guess it was just a bad throw. See, even if I, if I, you know, if I want to get rid of what Darren Waller's doing, I can just basically put him on a route and then pass block him again because that's a stupid animation. So we're going to take that away, give myself some real blocking now. Uh, we're going for that B route. So here we go one more time. So he just gets super passed. And that was Tyron Matthew lit up, which I typically like to light up superstars to show that it still matters. When it comes to cover four defenses, uh, they really split the field in half. So that's why you have nothing but short routes on this side, because you'll see that these guys drop to a much lower depth. The slant, you can see, makes the cover four safety get out of position even more, which is why I like the slant. But you can see the difference as far as the drops. This guy here is coming on strong. He's going to get inside of this strong safety. The second he does that, I just bullet and pass lead away from the strong safety because it's really all I need to do if you look back you can see that this safety is way out of position now because of the low depth of the drops based off of the drag or the slant so you can see once he gets inside of safety bullet pass it away and just run to the ball that's really all there is to it so I like I mean there's more stuff you can do with the post dig it's also got very good man beating concepts we'll go we'll go with cover two man you can have a lot of success against man coverages with a play like this especially man cover two the X routes a really good uh, route so you'll have a very good check down but you're gonna get a much bigger play and a much easier play to the other route once again so all I'm going to do is put the B route on a smart route. You're going to see at, at the original depth, he goes right in where the safety is. But if you shorten it, he'll cut that off to the point where he's right in front of the safety. And you can bullet, pass, lead away. And you get a very easy play right up the center of a cover two, zone, or cover two man. And then you can still do your drags, you know, things like that. Block your tight end. I don't really need that. So now I have, uh, you know, I got check downs to multiple levels here. And I have, you know, just very good plays against pretty much any man coverage. So the PA post dig is your play for pretty much any zone coverage. Cover 2, cover 3, cover 4. Also man cover 2 is a very big play. So let's go over the defenses that we haven't hit yet with the PA pump go. This play here is going to be, uh, it's going to replace your man cover 1, your man 0 beaters. It's also going to have a lot of big plays against things like cover 3. I mean this is another play that's like a Swiss army knife. So let's go ahead and let's pick the PA pump go. On the defensive side though, since we didn't touch on man cover 1 or man 0, let's start off with that. So if it's a man 0 like this. You know, basically just motion this guy out. I'm going to make that motion every time, but against a man zero, a man cover one, motion him out, put him on a smart route, and that B route is going to have a lot of success. As you can see right there, he just makes, shook that guy right out of his shoes. And he's not a very good, you know, route runner rugs, but obviously the speed is very important. But that's just a very glitchy play. So let's go and let's watch the replay. These stop and go routes are just made, are just made to beat man coverages. So you're going to see right here, this guy here, I mean, that's just, he just poops all over him. Like, look how far outside he got biting on that. And then I throw it up pretty much instantly. I mean, this is a play, if you have a man zero blitz, the ball can be out of your hand the second you drop back because he's going to bite on it within a couple of yards and you can see i mean i didn't plan on throwing off my back foot like that but i'm just floating it up because that's how you beat man coverage you just float the ball up switch over and run to it you can do that inside you don't even have to motion if you don't want to but i'll do that again like i said to me the motion is very important as you can see right here motioning them out isolating them i mean henry ruggs probably just won that base off of speed but if you have an elite receiver like that you can do that i find it still makes the most sense to motion him out that still makes the most sense to me motion him out isolate him on that cornerback and like i say you just see he's just biting outside once again we're getting a very easy one play touchdown against any man coverage man cover one will be the exact same the only difference is a man cover one you don't want to do the 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 smart routing you want to basically just let him run it as is and now you can see that there's uh, an explosive one play touchdown to be had um the the smart route is really just to beat the blitz if you do it with the smart route against man cover one, watch, I'll do it against man cover one. He jams him up and it's not going to work. So that, that, that smart route is meant just for the blitzing version. You can see right here, I mean, he's just, he's just in front of him. I mean, I might be able to outrun him because I have rugs, but you can see the coverage is tight. So, like I said, two plays, pretty much home runs every single defense in the game. There is a few more things you can do with the PA pump go, though. So let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to pick. We're going to go right back to cover two. So we were still having fun 
with that bunch wrap concept, and I'm gonna continue with that. So I can motion this guy across, and if it's a cover two zone, I, mean, I can block my, my tight end. I don't really need him doing anything. Uh, maybe a drag route. Now, when you make that motion, you can't block the tight end anymore because the tight end motion's out, but that's fine. So like I said, you have a lot of opportunities against uh, pretty much any zone coverage with this setup. I'm gonna do the exact same thing as cover two, cover three, it doesn't matter. You can have success by motioning over um, one of these receivers and and putting it on uh you know putting it on a flat and then putting the wire out on the street this is going to be something that i work against any zone coverage against cover three you can do that exact same setup that setup's going to work against just about anything that's pretty much although it's not letting me um let me do the streak for some reason but yeah let's go and do that i can sure i'm sure all right this take's not going to work out because of that but, uh, but yeah, you can see the X-Rat once again. Gets outside of that. We also have a one-play touchdown against uh, cover three, which is going to be even better. So uh, this one, though, you're going to have to move from the hash mark. You have, to, you have to run this from the open side of the field. Against cover three, just put the Y route on a fade and motion out the X route. Then you can just basically put the A route in a drag, streak the B route. That's all you really have to do. Block the running back. And you'll have a very big play against cover three right up the seam. As you can see here, that cornerback bites to that outside receiver. We have a very explosive one play touchdown uh, to, you know, the other side. You can also streak the Y route, but if you he typically gets jammed. If there's like any hook, um, hook zones in the area, a lot of times they'll jam the slot receiver try to get him outside or just it just makes him slow down if you put him on a fade they avoid that jam it's really that simple so we're going to do that one more time i guess i'll slide my pass pro and we'll get this y route right over the top again as long as you you know basically bullet and pass lead away from uh, from the safety that's all you really got to do and then last but not least we'll finish this against some cover four because we didn't really go over that uh, concept with cover four so let's go and let's do that one more time if i can find the cover four like i said that bunch concept um, it still has success with cover four. It doesn't matter what zone it is. We're going to do this one more time just to show you that it does get outside that cover four the same way. Zone coverages are just not very good. As you can see, we break that pretty easily. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more out of this formation, more plays, uh, I have a bunch that are going to be on my Patreon and my Join Now Community tab, also in my ebook. Uh, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to release that stuff on YouTube. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. See you.